in this video, we're going to look at the um, interference protection system that is the IPS of the Peeps Pro IPS. So this transceiver has a whole bunch of self-test routines and softwares that suggest that it can overcome interference from other devices more effectively than other transceivers on the market. That's the Peeps, that's their unique selling point and it's more expensive than any other transceiver on the market at the moment. So there's a little test to see how that works. So mainly it's about when the transceiver is transmitting. Okay, so here we've got the transceiver in transmit mode and you should always keep every other electronic out metal device, you know, a minimum of 50 centimeters, hope, you know, hopefully more away from a transmitting transceiver. A lot of people like me keep it in their sort of, I keep it in the pocket on my left leg. So what you shouldn't do is keep your phone in your pocket on your right leg or on the front of your backpack, you know, which is exactly where I keep mine, because if you were rolled up in a ball in an avalanche, your phone and your transceiver would be very close together. Some people are very good and keep their phones in Faraday bags when they're not actually taking photos or and that sort of thing. Keep, you know, it's not just about being in airplane mode because the actual metal in your phone also affects things. But, um, you know, that's in a perfect world and I definitely know that I don't follow the rules all the time. So what I've got here is I've got my brick of a, so it's like a GP, it's, a, it's an Android phone, but it's a military spec one. It's a metal case, strong phone with a big battery that um, I use to run my GPS all the time when I'm out in the mountains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that, and it's on. So I'll just show you, it is definitely on. So I'm just going to stick that on top of the transceiver like that. Okay, so you know, that is absolute worst case scenario. And then we're going to go back and do a search with another Peeps Pro IPS and see how we get on. So here I am about um, 50 meters away from the target transceiver and I'm going to put my um, Peeps Pro IPS into search mode and see where it first detects a signal. And so remember it's about the transmitting transceiver here. So um, it's the Peeps IP Pro IPS that is next to the phone being interfered with. So actually you wouldn't expect too much difference from transceivers which are searching. So I'm just going to walk in a straight line, which may not be the best depending on the flux lines of everything, but I'm just gonna walk in a straight line towards the transceiver and see where I first get a signal. Okay. Okay, so I'll just go there. So uh, I've got a signal there. It says 61 meters. I can tell you it's about 40 meters, but that's not too bad. Okay, all transceivers overread in this situation, in my opinion. Okay, so I've got a transceiver there. So 60 meters. Okay, I'm going to go forwards. Just see how it, okay. It says it's a little bit more erratic than my previous searching that I've done with this transceiver. So it is definitely being interfered with, but as it gets stronger, it should, okay. So yeah, keep going straight, come around to the left. Okay. And now we're going in, I think, you know, we are heading in perfectly, yeah, okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's over-reading much more than it, I believe it was in my last couple of searches, but it's formed pretty well, just more over-reading than perhaps it was before. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this transceiver off. Okay, and I'm now going to do the sa exactly the same search starting point with an Autovox transceiver and see how it gets on.
Okay, so all I've changed here is the transceiver I'm searching with. Haven't moved anything in the victim end. So I've just changed to an Autofox transceiver. Okay, flick the yellow but orange button up into search mode. Okay, and it's telling me 50... It's Run a, in 50 meter search strips and look out. There you go. Run in 50 meter search strips and look out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to walk straight towards the target exactly the same way I did before. Okay, orientating my transceiver. Let's see if we can get a different outcome. to the left. Okay, one second. Okay, what you can see here is that at 34 meters, Keep right. it, um, the transceiver is slightly, we're on a flux Keep line, right. it can't decide whether to go left or right. That's no big deal, really. 34, right. 32 meters. Let's st stabilize and go to the right now. Right. Okay. I'm only about 20 meters away right. from the target transceiver. So right. um, it definitely took longer to acquire the signal in that single, totally unscientific test. Okay, so now I'll do what the transceiver says. 34, 30, yeah, 20. So the number's dropping. He wants me to come around that way. Okay, so 20 meters away, now we are 10 meters away. So it's over reading by a factor of two. So that means as you walk in, basically every meter you take, it goes, every meter you walk, it goes down two meters. Okay, below 10 meters, no change for this transceiver below 10, it just gives you a decimal point. Go down to the snow surface. But at five, at five meters, I am prompted to go down to the snow surface and actually search much more slowly and carefully. The smallest value. Okay, so now below three meters, we've gone into crosshairs for bracketing. Okay, okay, so the let's mark that. Okay, so with the Autovox transceiver, um, it's just uh, let me just put that in there. So with the Autovox transceiver, um it appears that it took longer to find the signal. So that's either just chance or the IPI, the peeps pro IPS to pro IPS. It has got software that um, improves the search as well as the transmit functions under the uh, influence of interference. But, um, you know, it's totally un inconclusive about whether that was the case there or whether that just the way it worked. But the next big test is I'm going to swap the transceivers around now and I'm going to make the transmitter an Autovox uh, transceiver. And then we're going to do the same search again with this one and the Peeps Pro and see if that makes any difference. Okay, so there we have the uh, Autovox transceiver in the same orientation with the same source of interference over the top. Okay, so this is an Autovox transceiver searching for an interfered with Autovox transceiver. So into send mode and then as before, just walking straight towards the target. Run at 50 meter Not search strips and look out. Regardless of what the transceiver says. So before we were around about 20 meters, I think when we detected the transceiver, uh, it was obviously being interfered with. And, uh, so, so the transceiver that's being interfered with does not have the Peeps IPS software. So according to Peeps, it, it was being, you know, it would not overcome the interference in any such a good way. 
So when we're down to like 20 meters now, still nothing. I thought I should be doing a bit of this. In the spirit of fairness, nothing going on here. Okay, straight towards the transit. To the there we go. So very similar information to the last one. Actually, Keep 20 right. at this point, 26 meters. Go, okay, but right. we are 15 meters away from the transceiver, which is in that bag there. Okay, so it's about 15 meters away. Maybe not. Keep maybe right. 12. Okay, so again, it had it had it is overestimating the Keep distance right. by about a factor of two but has detected the transceiver even later. Okay, so I could then, should now start sending me off to the left, which it is doing, number going down. Okay, around to the left, yeah. Flaking around a bit, we're about 10 meters away now. Okay, that's a bit more accurate now with distance. Okay. I think it's pretty much Don't got it now. No problem. Okay, so that was the. Um, so what, what happened there? The this transceiver picked up a um, the interfered with the autox transceiver a bit later than when it was a Peeps transceiver that was being interfered with. Okay. So finally, we're searching for an interfered with the Autovox transceiver with a Peeps Pro IPS. So we're looking at to see whether um, the Autovox interfered transceiver is actually worse than the Peeps one, another test of that, and to see whether the interference protection system is much benefit in search mode. Okay, so we'll put the transceiver into search mode. One thing I have discovered is in search mode in the top left there, that is the transceiver saying you can have 80 meter search strip widths. So that means you can be up to 40 meters away from any point on the avalanche debris. And it's doing that because it is saying that because it's receiving no interference with this transceiver. Because my, my phone is like a meter away and zoomed in. But if I bring my phone in closer, watch what happens. So after a little few seconds, it will detect that my phone is now interfering with the transceiver and it will reduce the search strip width there you go to 60 meters so it's already saying that it can tell the transceiver is being compromised by something so if i come closer again it just takes it's obviously there you go down to so now it's saying oh it really knows i'm being interfered with so okay and there I think that what that's saying, ah, oh, that happened before in one of my other search videos. It's saying, oh, look, there's a bunch of interference. So if I come back out again, hopefully it's telling me, so it's alerting me to the fact that it was interfered with. It's obviously a little countdown. So it's hoping things, it makes you wait, basically. And let's see what happens when it gets to the bottom of this countdown. Okay, so what I think it's now saying is that it is aware that it's being interfered with and it wants you, it looks like it wants, oh no, it's auto revert. Okay, let me just press the button. I don't know what button to press here. So pressing any of the buttons doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna put it into, search mode and then back out okay i think that was auto revert because i stood still and didn't do anything for a while nice i'm gonna read the manual at some point right so let's set off uh walking straight towards the target just as we did before uh okay so it's still saying search strip so it's gone 80 meters, so it's happy it's not being interfered with. So we're about 40 meters away now. Okay, it's going straight towards it. A bit of orientation change, see if it helps. There we 
okay. So 52 meters, 50 meters, and it wants me to go over there a little bit. Okay, how far, I'm probably 30 meters away. So, well, so it would appear that the Pro IPS is detecting the interfered with the transceiver earlier than the Autovox one in this very statistically unproven test and is also overestimating the distance to the transceiver less. So yeah, it's also revert. If I shake the transceiver, it goes off. Okay, that's that mystery solved. Right, so then I just head this way. Okay, following the arrows, probably 20 meters away now. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's locked on now. Okay, and now I'm not gonna have any problems at all with the transceiver. Okay, so I would say that the peeps is pretty good. It seems to be slightly better dealing with interference, both both in search mode and in transmit mode. I'm just gonna test my auto revert theory again now. So I'm just gonna stand still and not move. And I think the auto revert thing's gonna come up in a second. Yeah, it must be auto revert because it changed from search to send mode. There we go, auto revert in 30 seconds, I think. Shake the transceiver and it goes away again. Yeah, okay, that's that mystery solved. All right, and then, right, so that is the um, search demos with the Peeps Pro IPS.